editing and like making thumbnails and all this stuff makes me so excited i love it hey guys today i'm going to be showing you guys how i make my thumbnails a lot of people always ask me i just made a thumbnail actually so i'm basically just going to remake it and show you guys how i did it because i really like it. first of all to make my thumbnails i usually use pixart if you guys want to know like a whole like how i edit my pictures like not for thumbnails then let me know so first you just click this little plus sign in the middle i'm probably going to blur some things out because i don't need you guys seeing what's all in my camera row if you're just doing like a one photo thumbnail you don't need to go to collage but like usually all of my thumbnails are like two pictures and once you select the pictures they go up top by the time you guys are watching this video you probably already know about the giveaway so go watch that and go enter that click next and then usually an ad pops up so this is where the fun happens what i do is i go to ratio and then i scroll all the way down you guys see where it says youtube i click that and it like formats it to the size of a thumbnail and then usually i rearrange the pictures just in case i don't like the layout and then border and then i remove the border off of mine because i don't like the way borders look like it depends on the video you're doing like you know like sometimes this would be cute like this might be even cute for this video but personally i like no border for the idea i was going for for this video we're gonna do it like this and let's switch these because yeah they were switched before so then i'm just gonna size and crop everything honestly i kind of like everything to be symmetrical in a way this idea what i had was i was gonna frost frosting in like photo editing is basically where like you make everything look like frosty to do that on here which is you click whatever photo like opacity and then you drag that opacity down yes but not if you do it too much it'll turn completely white so like i just do it a little bit like right there so then for this specific thumbnail i'm gonna click text and then we're gonna type self oh uh -uh. So yeah, you can do like whatever text you want, obviously. And then again, I like to make sure everything is like aligned with each other. I'm gonna like walk you guys through the thought process I was having for this specific thumbnail. Like you guys see all this space. I'm gonna like indicate it when I'm editing above self care under giveaway. That's called negative space. So you don't want negative space in your thumbnails. So for me, what I did for this, since this is like a self care related video. I just click stickers you guys see down here where it says sticker i click sticker and then i searched up self-care and then you go and like you guys see all this stuff about self-care i did use one of these products i would have put them in there but instead you guys see the little text i just go ahead and throw that text on there somewhere boom it just adds so much like ugh. honestly the the goal for a thumbnail is just to make it as appealing as you need it to be so somebody can click on your video so i'm going to go into editing the text now i'm just going to click on main words so you guys see sunday i'm going to go to sunday i'm going to like change the font i see how that just makes like such a yes i love it probably one of my favorite thumbnails right now and then to add a little bit more pizzazz what you can do for something like this is that you can click the words that you change and you can kind of basically like invert the colors from all the other text so click white and then make the stroke black Whew. you guys editing and like making thumbnails and all this stuff makes me so excited i love it also do like some extraness with it the only reason i didn't use a lot of colors in my text is because my shirt and my hair kind of coordinate and like the background is like this white but you can see the blue i didn't really want to like mess with the text for real but if i wanted to i can make like the text something like a kind of light like pastel-y like that or like you know but i feel like that would kind of be hard for somebody to read you guys i previously already edited these pictures on the side but if you wanted to you can click tools adjust and then like you can edit 
everything. If you guys ever wanted to know how they how people like have the faded effect but still have color, this is it. They just change the contrast. But yeah, just let me know if you guys want more like editing, like the more technical side of YouTube videos from me. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me, if you did give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, follow my Instagram, follow all my social medias at night and I on all platforms. Yeah, guys, bye.